Isn't that a beautiful building? In 1882, this valley that I'm standing in was thriving with the saints from the Church of Jesus Christ. And they wanted to build a special building while it, where they could gather together. And that's when they started this building. It was erected and dedicated in 1898. This building served its purpose well for almost 120 years. Actually, more than 120 years. It held its first general conference in 1886. That was a long time ago. The U.S. President William H. Taft even came here and spoke in 1909. In 2010, it caught fire. And you can't say that it burned to the ground, but it burned to an empty shell. The reason why it just burned to an empty shell, the firemen that showed up on scene were ready to put out the flames with their high-powered water cannons, and the fire chief stopped them because he knew that if they blasted it with their high-powered water cannons, it would destroy the structure. So that simple act preserved the shell of the building, but it burned empty inside. And there were some things that were preserved through this fire, but for the most part it was, it was completely burned. There was nothing. It was empty. And a year later, the Church of Jesus Christ announced that it would be rebuilt and dedicated as a temple. The temple is the holiest building that the church could ever build. So if you can imagine this building, if it had feelings and emotions like we do, serving for 120 years, dedicated to the Lord, and then being burnt to an empty shell, how would you feel if God allowed you to burn to an empty shell? I know for me and my experiences, I've I felt like I've been there before, and it's, it's hard. But something that we don't always understand and know is the greater purpose. You see, as this building was burning and burnt to an empty shell, I believe that the Lord was preparing it for its greater calling, to be the Provo City Center Temple, the holiest place that you can go on this earth is a temple dedicated to the Lord. It was announced in 2011. They started construction in 2012, meticulously preserving its history. And the temple was dedicated in 2016 and is now serving as its highest calling that a building could ever be, a house dedicated to the Lord, a temple, a place of worship, a place of service, and a place of education. As we go through the trials in our life, we need to remember this story and know that God always has a greater plan and a greater purpose. And we may not understand it all the time, but if we trust in the Lord and follow Him, He will make us into a temple that we were intended to be.